Dark here, bringing you part 8 of our epic Let's Play series, Modded Xeonauts Flying At Ya. Uh, previous episode, we had a ton of research getting done. Uh, God, we, we probably popped off 6 or 7 different researches. We got a couple laser weapons built up for our soldiers. The only one we're waiting on now is the scatter laser for our heavy gunner. Um, and we uh, went ahead and uh, built a laser battery here to hopefully... Uh, help off on some alien attacks that might be coming at us um, and we're just gonna kind of as always dive into it speed four and we do have a UFO detected right at the beginning of the episode I love it we're gonna intercept this bad boy we are gonna send mr. waddles and let's do foxtrot and mr. waddles launching let's go get them boys let all oh, UFO 13 no, we're gonna send a lone condor. Uh, wait a minute. What was that? What was it? Let me see. What was it? Oh, he is way down there. Small. Hmm. You know what? Let's send a lone condor. We're gonna do it. Everyone's like, no, don't do it. I'm like, no, we're doing it. You're like, no. Boom. So it's a scout. Let's engage it. All right. We're going to be a little bit careful on this one. Now, why is this thing... Oops. Oh, that was the wrong thing to do. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, yeah, baby. Get that second one going. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, oh, yeah. Woo! Well, that didn't help us out too much, but uh, we won. I mean, that's always good. Oh, uh, no. Okay, we're good. Ah, I want to catch these guys over land. Sons of bitches. Alright, let's just shoot it down. Ah, you jerk. Well, maybe he'll come over land. God, you know, I hate to admit this, but, uh, <clears throat> you know, America's a pretty, pretty bad place to, uh, set base up. Foxtrot, Mr. Waddles, have at him. <sighs> you know what, let's engage him. All right, we are gonna instantly shoot you down, boy. Instantly shoot you down. Boom. Boom. You are dead. Instantly shot down. Oh yeah, crashed into the sea. Mm-hmm. Did us no good. And the countries are gonna be happy with us, but I mean that doesn't that doesn't get us a whole lot. And we're gonna have a lot less money. We we're gonna have to put all of our money into Olympus 2 next month. I mean, we need interceptors. We need a radar array. I mean, we need to get that place up and going pretty bad. Gosh, that sucks. Crop circles, forest fires, UFO sighting, communications disruption, UFO sighting. Jeez. Ah, nothing like a good cup of coffee. Good cup of Joe and some Zeo knots just makes the blood go. Ooh, I like you. Wow. The Wolf Battle Armor is a direct replacement for the Jackal Combat Armor. Using the remarkable properties of alien alloys to provide extra protection to your men in combat. Each individual suit requires a large amount of money and alien alloys to fabricate in our workshops, but they should dramatically increase the combat effectiveness of our men. Wolf armor consists of numerous parts, an armored helmet with a reinforced visor, thick torso protector plates, armored pads for the shoulder, elbow and knee joints, plus ballistic gloves and combat boots, atop a fire-resistant undersuit. Wow, that is pretty good. Collectively, this offers dramatically improved resistance to injury. The centimeter thick breastplate is capable of stopping a 50 cal round at the point blank range. Holy crap! It is equivalent of walking around with 3 inches of steel strapped to your chest. 
both the plating and the understew also have been impregnated with a dense network of ultra-fine superconductor filaments which absorb the heat from an energy projectile anticipated across the full surface of the armor, giving the soldier underneath a much improved chance of it surviving the impact. Wow, none of this appears to have dramatically improved the mood of your soldiers. Indeed, I cannot recall a single smile from the miserable sod since the invasion began. It is almost as if they do not realize quite how difficult working in the laboratories can be. A little more gratitude would go would hardly go amiss. Okay, I mean fair enough. You know what, let's uh let's go to the workshop. Let's just humor us here with how much this is gonna be. Four alien alloys compared to none. And forty thousand dollars. You know, we're going to save our money for now. I mean, we just got the jackal armor. We're going to have to run with that for a little bit. Wow, there's definitely a UFO there. See, Olympus 2 would have been able to shoot that bad boy down. Ali Alenium explosives. Okay. The majority of alenium found inside wrecked UFOs has been run through the vessel's reactor, making it of little use as a fuel. This low-grade alenium only contains enough power to run an e extraterrestrial device for a few minutes, whereas fresh alenium can do so for hours at a time. However, it turns out there is another use for this relatively abundant low-grade alenium explosives. The amount of energy held in depleted alenium is usually still appreciably higher than it than is contained in the equivalent weight of TNT. My team has therefore been able to produce improved designs for our high explosive rockets and grenade issues to our soldiers. Replacing the explosives with an alenium charge that is up to 50% more powerful than conventional munitions. Nice! Given the ample availability of the constitute parts, these can be manufactured and issued to our soldiers in effectively unlimited numbers. Your men seem impressed. They spent so long testing the new device that the firing range required structural repairs. <laughs> the principle behind these devices is simple. The explosive is a block of alenium that dumps all of its energy into a, into the surrounding air when triggered. The warhead on the rocket is sufficiently large that this will generate a sizable explosion, but the grenades also employ steel casing that fragment into a deadly cloud of metal shards on detonation. However, be aware that these weapons will inflict as much damage on extraterrestrial equipment as on the aliens themselves. Aliens killed with explosives are unlikely to leave a corpse behind, let alone recoverable items. Fair enough. An alenium warhead. This is what I'm talking about. This low-grade alenium can also be used to upgrade the missiles carried by our interceptors. This process was slightly more involved, as our anti-air warheads rely on armor penetration as much as explosive force. Nonetheless, we have successfully, and as the new warheads can be fitted to our existing rocket engines, we have already upgraded our, your interceptors accordingly. Good. The required armor penetration is achieved by fitting a small laser emitter to the top of the alien block. This fires a predetermined pattern which can be changed to allow us to shape and focus the explosive charge in any direction that we choose. With no time to conduct extensive studies on the effectiveness of different charge patterns, we instead just insert that the energy from the blast is focused forwards rather than wastefully radiating in all directions crude, perhaps, but certainly functional. The Alenium missile is a direct replacement for the Sidewinder light air-to-air -air missile, whilst the Alenium, uh, Alenium torpedo replaces the heavy avalanche torpedo. The latter is a powerful weapon well suited to dealing with lumbering alien craft without the speed or agility to avoid it. The former, a faster missile that inflicts less damage but is more likely to hit alien lighter vessels. In both cases, the upgrades are just straightforward warhead swaps, so this should not dictate any major change in aerial tactics beyond making our engagements a little easier. Yeah, I'm all about making uh, you know, alien engagements a little bit easier. So let's just make sure that they did alien missiles, perfect. And alien torpedoes, perfect. Okay. I'm all about making our engagements easier. I mean, that is what I am all about. The laser battery has been completed at Olympus. Perfect. Let's keep going times four speed. Let's see. This little UFO. It's a small one. We'll send Foxtrot. And we'll send Condor, Mr. Waddles. Go get them, boys. Come on. Get them over land. Come on, turn around, turn around. I guess let's try and send Foxtrot. See if anything happens. Okay, it's a scout. This actually should be a very easy uh, 
since they don't dodge those missiles. I don't believe they can roll. Should be an easy kill. Bam. Crash landing. Finally. Finally a chance to kill some aliens. Alright. Let's go to that. You know what? We're just launching Charlie. And hopefully we don't get shot down. Because that would be so, so horrible. Come on. That a boy. That a boy. No aliens. I don't see any of that alien stuff going on. So, should be good. Now this is our fourth crash site. Now let's engage. We got a couple new things to try out. We got some new weapons. We got some better armor. Uh, even the scout car has a better weapon. So let's see what we can get here. Come on, baby. Well, it always brings my screen into the pit of darkness. Now we gotta find our ship. There it is. Ooh, this is actually should be a pretty favorable, uh, favorable map here. Okay, let's get the, uh, see what we can see. Okay. Now you gotta be careful getting off the, the get-go here. You don't wanna run into any aliens. Nothing, huh? <laughs> All right, well, let's get you. Let's get some scouting. Zacula here, we'll get you here. Oh God, where did that just come from? You big some bitch, ain't you? Ah, now just takes a little bit more. All right, well, let's get uh, let's get Shield Boy out here. We'll go you here. Each six percent. Take a knee. Yeah. Let's try it. I just want to see what the laser looks like. Ooh, it looks pretty cool. I can dig that. Alright, Lieutenant Hulk here. Yeesh. Okay, well, we'll get Hulk here. And we will get Ghost. Mm, yeah, let's get him here. Get him. Ugh, oh, suck. It's alright. It's alright. And we'll get we'll get Rook right here. We'll just we'll just call that good for now. Come on. Where you going? Where you going, big boy? Hmm. Well. Probably just have the scout car just keep going around, see what we can find. Yeesh. Right, let's drive you up. Oh, why, hello! I told you I'd find you. Trying to sneak around me, huh? Oh, yeah. I see ya. I see ya. Hmm. Can we get you up a little bit closer? How much TU does it cost? 40 TU. That should work. Why, hello, alien spacecraft. Let's 
let's uh let's try to fuck you up a little bit alien grenade let's try that new grenade miss weak sauce you are so screwed bro you don't even know you don't even know how screwed you are let's go zacula up here nothing on the back side okay snapshot oof Try right, Zacula. That's, that's a good try. Good try. We'll get Ghost right up next to you. And hit chance 24. Nope, you know, let's just take a knee. Yeah, that's alright. I kind of figured. We need to get Herc into the fight here. Hulk up. Waiting for a shot at the enemy. Okay, and Rook, get your ass up here, Rook. Okay, that'll be good for now. Boom. Well, that didn't seem to do much of anything, to be honest. Oh yeah, you better run, boy. On the scout car, gonna find you. Oh yeah, we're coming. There ain't shit you can do. Okay, we do have to approach carefully, though. Let's see if our scouts here can can take care of these this guy here. Seventy-nine percent. Shot, get it. Yeah. Ninety-five percent, Zachula. Your aim is nuts. Get it, boy. Boom. <clears throat> one shot, one kill. Two shots if you want to get technical, but hey. Oof. Oh, why, bro? I see the big boy. Oh, well, that's not good. Okay, let's uh, let's take a knee. <laughs> Nothing, really. Oh God, that is not good. Hmm. Looks like he needs some backup. Get it! Herc, you sprinting fool. And well, we'll even get uh, we'll even get Big Boy Hulk up here for a little backup. All right, now let's move. These guys up slightly will keep. Yep, let's put Ghost here. He's got a good view of the door there. Have him take a knee. We'll end the turn there and kind of see what happens. Yeah, you're running back. Alright, let's see if we can get that scout car around to flank him a little bit here. Bam. That should at least take the take the heat off our boys. Unless I can get a snapshot. Um, you know what? Let's do it. What? Ah, uh, no. 57 TU. Okay. You know what? We're gonna... You ain't got shit on the scout car. I'd like to see you try to take out that scout car. We are gonna mess you up. All right, we'll get uh, yeah, this is gonna be difficult. Hmm. 
You know what? Let's play it safe. Bam. I have you guys just on Overwatch here. We'll see what comes from it. There you go. So next turn, we should be able to mess these guys up pretty bad. Have them all crouch. Zacula appear to get a better sight on the door. Yep. Let's see. So he has 62 TU. So I should be able to get two shots of normal off with this. Let's do that. Ooh. Unless you only need one. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Take a knee here, boy. We'll get ready for round two. Oh yeah, you better throw everything you got at me this turn, aliens, because I'm about to mess your faces up. Yeah, that just wasn't enough. Wow, there's still a bunch in there. Yeah, that was very effective. Good job. You can tell these guys ain't the smartest. <laughs> okay, now let's get shieldy. Uh, we might need him to finish off someone, maybe. You guys are dead. Wow. Um. Huh. I was not aware that that is what happens. Uh, cause that was uh that was slightly effective. Yeah, just a little bit. Wow. That was a little scary, to be honest. I'm I'm just a little bit a little bit freaked out from that whole thing. Alright, well, let's move some of these boys up. We'll get shield here to open the door. And we're just going to end that turn like that for now. You know, I'm fairly certain... that we can blow a hole into this thing. One of the mods we do have is a, is a, is a breaching mod that should work. Well, that did not appear to work, but we'll, uh, we'll fire some shots at that thing and see what, what we can come from it. Okay. Rook, you're gonna go here. Just like that. We are going to be breaching and a clearing. Okay, end that turn there. Come on out. We're ready to mess you boys up. Okay, Hulk's going here. It's a good line of sight. Not a boy. We'll get Hulk Herc here. See if we can get this uh, ship up a little bit more. Pop another shot into that thing. Still nothing. Man, I wonder where it is that you breach. Must be right here, I guess. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't want to actually use that vehicle anymore because it's going to blow them up too bad. Have shield take a knee here and get ready for the fight. Bam! Come on, next. Yeah, that's what I thought, boy. Boom! Looks like we got three alive in there. Wow. Let's see what kind of trouble we can stir up. If I had Hulk here, he'd be able to do some pretty significant damage. Okay, let's close that door. Hulk, 
We're gonna get you over to this side, buddy. Hopefully without dying. Just wait just like that. And let's bring the scout car here, I guess. Cause I'm curious to see where this thing blows up. Oh god, that was almost the stupidest thing I've ever done. Wow, that was really close. Sorry, Herc. Sorry, sorry. All right, in that turn, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop your ugly little face out. Nothing, huh? Man, I don't know if that mod must not be in effect or something. Okay, now that we got the team here, let's see. Pop that door open. Anything? Let's take some shots. Wow. My bad. Let's do it normal. Still nothing. And I don't think any of our guys have shots here. Uh, take it. Nice. That'll hurt him. And that. Miss. Actual miss. Yeah. <laughs> Come in where I can see you, boy. Because I'm ready for some fat. I'm going to have him open that door. And I'm going to have him effectively run away. Ah, oh, for Christ's sake. You can't even see anyone. stupid. Like, would not let me see them. Shot is still blocked? Are you kidding me? Wow. Alright, well, I guess just take a knee. See if we can get this figured out. You coming into my home turf now, boy? <clears throat> now, I'm thinking about just just cruising this truck up. Okay, let's get a little closer. Open the door. Get out of the way. And let's see. Let's just start blowing shit up. Yeah, how'd that work for you? Probably not too good, huh? We're just, we're just gonna blow you guys up. We don't even care. Yep, that's how, uh, that's effectively how much we, uh, we gave a rat's ass. Alright, and that turn. I was, was there somebody else? Okay, we'll send shield in. See what we can find. Let's get a Hulk up here. Or here. And we'll get Herc up here as well. We'll get ready to breach and clear. Oh, why, hello! Well, I didn't do that for us. Boy. Hit for hit? What's that? Okay, that would give us 34 TU. We're gonna do it. Because we're still gonna have a shot. Okay, if we get Hulk in here. 
Can't do anything this turn, but next turn he's gonna mess your face up. 22% chance, I'm taking it. Aw, oh, yeah. All right, well that is a wrap. Excellence down the board. We got, uh, let's see, eighth grand for a power source. Quite a few for, uh, yeah, we got 19,000, which isn't that great. I mean, we kind of went in just shooting everything up. Uh, but, you know, I was, haven't had a, haven't had an alien battle in weeks. My blood was thirsting for it. So, Zakia got two kills, though. Hurt got one there. And, uh, Ghost got one. So, we got Rick promoted to Sergeant. And Zakula also promoted to Sergeant. So, that's awesome. We got, everyone's stats are going up here. So, we're going to be bringing Charlie home. Hope to God that nothing happens to poor Charlie. Come on, boy. You almost home. You almost home. All right. Well, guys, we're going to call that a wrap for part eight of our modded Xeonauts Let's Play. So if you can, leave a like, comment, and as always, don't, please do subscribe if you want to see more. Um, all of it really does help. Uh, but this is Herc with Olympus Gaming, and signing out, Herc out. Mm -hmm.